Hi YouTube, Trudy here, coming in to make the video that a year ago I thought was so far away. I have been doing my videos every week, sometimes more, um, for the last year, and today is my one year surge anniversary. Uh, it was a year ago on May 30th that I had my RNY gastric bypass surgery in Hamilton uh, with Dr. Nbari, and I am doing <laughs> fantastic. Um, we'll start with the numbers, because that's where I always start with my updates. So when I first started this process, I was 359 pounds, and my BMI was 52 or 53, um, like 52.9 or something. Anyway, day of surgery, I was 341 pounds, and today I am 218 pounds, which I think I was last week too, or last update. So, um, you know, I when you get down 140 pounds, I'm 141 pounds down now, your weight loss really starts to slow down. And mine has, which is fine, but it's continuing downward, so I'm okay with that. It's not going up. So the slowdown, I can handle. Um, now I want to talk about all the things that I can do now that I haven't been able to do, you know, before May 30th of 2011. Um, I can sit in whatever chair I want to sit in. I am not afraid of chairs anymore. Those plastic stackable chairs that you use outside, um, you know, some people have these patio chairs that the, with the arms on them, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I could never sit in those before. I never fit in them before. And I was afraid to fit in them for fear that I was going to crush them. So I fit in those now. And so any chair I want, airplane seats, movie seats, you know, I am not afraid to go anywhere now because of the seats. You know, my the husband used to take my kids to the movies. I would stay home because I didn't want to sit in a packed movie theater in those cramped seats. Um, I'm living my life now. I, I'm, I'm participating. I'm climbing ladders if I have to. I'm doing yard work. I am able to go from the basement to the top floor of my house in one shot without being winded. So I don't have to sort of calculate my movements up and down the stairs like it's crazy how I used to think that <laughs> you know try to minimize how many times I went up and down the stairs now I don't care I'll go up and down the stairs as much as I freaking want to it's not holding me back um, clothes I'm going through clothes like crazy I'm sort of in between 14 16 now um, it's about 18 jeans um, so I'm sort of, I, like I bought a pair of 16, size 16 capris the other day hoping that they'll shrink a little bit because they're, they're too loose. I won't be able to wear them for much longer if they don't shrink. So I'm hoping that they'll shrink. But, um, you know, uh, life is so much different, so much different. I went in a kayak last week. For those who follow me on Facebook, you'd have seen the pictures, but um, I'll put some pictures on after this video. My husband picked up kayaking four or five years ago. His parents live on a river, literally. Their backyard, you like stumble at the back door, and if you're not careful, you're going to roll into the river. And so they introduced my husband to kayaking about five years ago, and I was... It used to break my heart a little every time I watched him paddle off without me because I wanted to do it so bad. And I, I just wanted that time with him, if that makes sense. I, I just, I really want something that him and I can do together uh, as a couple that doesn't involve the kids, something that we enjoy. And I figured kayaking would be it. And so last year I said that I would kayak this year. So we went to his parents' house last week for four days. And we, were, we went up there to do some housework because his parents are, you know, getting a little older. So we wanted to help chop the wood, stack the wood put the boat in the water, they've got a big gazebo that they put up every year on the back of the house because the flies are crazy because they live in northern Ontario. But anyway, so we went up there specifically just to help out with the chores around the house. But he said, you know, you're going to get in that kayak. And I was like, I can't. Like, I, I did not want to try it and then not be able to do it because I was afraid I would be just devastated if it didn't work. So he dragged out the kayak while I wasn't looking and he said, sit in it. So I went and I stood in it, and he basically, Trudy, put your butt down, like sit, you're fine. And I did, and I fit in it, and I kayaked, and I paddled, and it was just amazing. That was probably my biggest non-scale victory. 
up to now because that one meant the most to me. So it's it's incredible, guys. It, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do to celebrate my surge anniversary. I did my nails this morning. Pretty pretty. So that's what I did for myself this morning. I've got a little one homesick. He's actually sleeping right now, even though it's almost 11 o'clock. He's got a fever, so he's sleeping it off upstairs. And, uh, you know, it's amazing how much life changes, you know. And I'm watching all you pre oppers and there's a couple of you specifically that are in Ontario that I'm watching, and you know, hopefully you know who you are. Uh, Miss Flat and Fabulous, or Fat and Flabulous, and uh, Aylin. And um, I know the waiting's torture. You know, I remember when I was waiting for this surgery, I would watch the clock, and it would be like 4.30. Okay, maybe they'll still call. You know, they're probably there till 5. And at 4.59, you're thinking, please, please, please call. And then once that 5 o'clock mark hits, you just know that they're not going to call that day. And the disappointment. But, um... You know, it, it, they will call. They will call. You'll get your dates. You'll get your appointments. And um, you'll start living your life again very soon. So May 30th of 2011 was sort of my rebirth. It's my new birthday because I am living a completely different life now. You know, my little one, my five-year-old, said to me the other day, we were putting him to bed. He was tired. But anyway, he put his hands on my tummy and he said, Mommy, I remember when you had your operation and I didn't like it. And I said, why didn't you like it? He said, well, because I missed you while you were gone. He goes, but you are so better now. So even he's noticing the difference. I went camping with him over the weekend. I was able to zip up my sleeping bag. And uh, it was with beavers, so we took a whole bunch. There was 35 kids. We took them on a big hike, and I was able to, ke you know, keep up, and I wasn't winded, and I didn't dread every hill that came my way, and, you know, it was more about focusing on the kids than focusing what I couldn't do. It's so great not to be, not to be living my life with my weight dictating what I can and cannot do. Now it's what I want to do. And in a couple of weeks we're going to the circus. There's a circus coming to Barrie for anyone who's interested. And um, it's a Shriners Circus. If you look them up online, you can buy your tickets online. Anyway, so we're going to go to the circus. And my husband said last year they had elephant rides. If they let the grown-ups go up, I may try to ride an elephant. I would never have done that. I know elephants would probably be able to hold 359 pounds. But I couldn't, are you kidding me? A morbidly obese person riding an elephant? Oh yeah, I could just see those pictures and videos and shit popping up on YouTube. I don't think so. So, anyway, we'll see. But yeah, life just is so great now, guys. And um, hang in there, those who are waiting for surgery. It will come, I promise you. And I can't wait to see your progress. I don't know what else to say. I'm so, you know, just so happy and so grateful and thankful that this, this happened. Because if I hadn't have done this, you know, I could see me sitting on my couch today, probably around 380 pounds, because I wouldn't have done anything about my weight. And, um, you know, hating my life. Now, I'm loving it. I'm loving that every day I'm able to do something that I couldn't do yesterday or that I'm able to do something that I didn't think I could do like climb a ladder or get in a kayak or ride my bike or you know life is waiting for you and you will get there I promise and uh... it's worth it Every bit, you know I'm still sort of honeymoon stage I know but um... You know, we'll see what the next year brings. I still have about 40 pounds I want to lose, so we'll see if we can get that off in the next year and go from there. So, yeah, that's me, guys. One year surge anniversary. 141 pounds lost in one year, and I've lost the weight, and I've found myself. I will talk to you later, guys. Love you all. Thank you to all my new subscribers, and thank you to all my old subscribers. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.